grand jurors that serve on a particular grand jury, uh, you have to have at least nine of them there each day to transact any business. Could these men be influenced by a district attorney or a police chief? No, I believe these men, the type of person that you have on a grand jury, uh, that would serve on a grand jury and would give up their time to the community like that would be above influence from anyone. There are few cities in the nation the size of Arlington that would attempt a bond election as ambitious as the one on Tuesday. It's generally agreed that the market is heading toward more favorable times for the sale of bonds, but it's also agreed that there's a general public antipathy toward voting to sell them. Arlington, it seems, has an edge in passing bond issues. Since Tom Vandergriff has been in the mayor's office, no important issue has failed even admitted non-essential issues like the purchase and expansion of Turnpike Stadium and the financing for the Seven Seas Project won handily. I asked Mayor Vandergriff whether he thinks an expected low voter turnout will hurt. Uh, our voters, however, that these are the most important uh, recommendations that have ever been made to the community, at least since I've been in office, and we trust that everyone will take time to uh, vote their convictions. The public will decide Tuesday on improvements including expanded fire and police protection, streets, water and sewer projects, a new city hall, money for the municipal airport, park funds, and a new central library. In Fort Worth's recent election, the library issue was dropped from the ballot because of the danger of failure. And even then in Fort Worth, two out of the five remaining issues at stake failed, park expansion and airport improvement. Mayor Vandergriff is committed to seeing that these issues pass in Arlington. With his track record, it's becoming a matter of personal honor, especially since the mayor is quite possibly thinking of higher political office in addition to the welfare of the city. Jay Lewis, Channel 8 News on the Move, Arlington. The, um, the brand new, bright and shiny dump trucks, uh, they're, they're not the old, dirty, dingy type that we're used to seeing. Is this a, a new trend? Uh, here again, this is part of the efficiency of our organization. The manufacturers uh, play a very, very important part. Uh, they are bringing about new equipment, uh, compactor equipment. Uh, it's uh, very efficient. It does a job uh, fast at uh, the lowest possible cost and allows us to do our job better, which is really what we have to do. We serve the people. That's our job. Total fashion looks, and that makes an overall pretty picture for our every lady today. The newest thing in hair is the three lengths. We have the short length with the low form in the back, which is very feminine and elegant, which is the name of the trend by the National Association. It's smooth, combination with curls, and very feminine looking. And then we go into the midi length, which can be added with a hair piece, and we'll go into maybe a little longer look. Poofs are new, not the little tiny curls anymore, but poofs and bigger effects. Then we go into the maxi of longer hair and we sort of name these like the skirt lengths and uh, if you wear the longer length hair then we think you ought to wear the longer length skirts. In the uh, solid waste field it's uh, not uncommon to have seen the old open dump around places. As a matter of fact it was quite satisfactory in the years gone by but no longer today. Uh, public works men uh, are getting themselves involved not in building incinerators anymore but building incinerators with good types of air cleaning equipment on it. If we move into the field of sanitary landfill to handle uh, solid waste instead of incineration then these sanitary landfills are being run uh, so they're not a nuisance to the neighborhood and uh, so that they do not contaminate the uh, ground on which they're located or the water supply and uh, they are more or less pleasing to see, uh, if you can call them pleasing, but they're far better uh, fit in with the community than they were heretofore. Judging from the public meetings we have held relative to the bond issue, it has not aroused the groundswell of public uh, excitement uh, we had hoped but we trust that uh, these uh, signs 
uh, indicate uh, a general favoritism with the uh, proposal. Ordinarily, when there is considerable opposition, uh, then naturally uh, it comes to the uh, front uh, rather quickly. Uh, that hasn't been the case here. I think the grand jury generally is a cross-section uh, race-wise, but uh, an individual that serves on a Dallas County grand jury has to be in a position that he can serve from 8.30 to at least 12.30, Monday through Friday, for three months. If he's an individual that uh, is working for a company where they will not permit that much time from his job, then he cannot serve. He's an individual that has a business of his own, and he can uh, work it out, or if he works for a company that will permit him, one of the big corporations, then he'll be in a position where he can serve. But he has to serve, and it's very important that he's there every day.